conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, this is Shramni. So today's our topic is about uh, logistic regression. So in our previous topics, we have seen what is linear regression. So now when it comes, so okay, what exactly is a logistic regression? So in this session, we'll uh, learn what is logistic regression and what is the mathematics in order to build a log logistic regression algorithm. And also uh, what exactly uh, we do in order to check how accurate is our model, okay? Right, so what is logistic regression? So it is, a, it is nothing but uh, it's used to solve our classification problem. So for example, in a linear regression, we have a linear curve which is continuous. So what if the target, what if the output we are, we are seeking is something like discrete or categorical, like binary zero or one. In that case, what we'll, we'll do? In that case, our logistic regression comes into picture. Okay, so if we see the logistic function or sigmoid function which we use, basically the mathematics which is done in this model. So if, if we see the equation, it's like probability of this out, output class is uh, one, like you can see the equation here. So if we go through the mathematics which we perform in the back end, like if we, if we go and substitute this uh, predicted output y in our uh, probability function we and apply logarithm on both the sides so that we can get the you know uh, variations between p and y we can see here y which is mx plus c if it is zero we can see p as uh, one and vice versa correct so similarly if we go ahead and do the plotting for the same, so we'll get the graph like this. So from here, we can know that p value ranges from zero to one. Okay, so we'll see an example in, in our uh, end of the session. So basically, logic, logistic regression is of three types, binary, which we have discussed right now, and the others are multinomial and ordinal. So the thing which we explained above is it comes under um, binary logistic regression but if you keep that aside you if you want to know if you built a model and if you want to know how accurate it is like how correct it is whether it, its prediction is correct or not whatever the algorithm saying is correct or not in order to check that we have to you know do some checks and calculations and use few parameters which which starts with the basic knowledge of a confusion matrix what is confusion matrix so if you see here there are four combinations which is true negative false positive false negative and true positive what is true negative let me give you an example here so if i'm going to create a model which which can predict whether a person is leaving the bank or not so actually in re like actual result is the person is leaving the bank, which is true. Let me example what is true negative so that you can understand all the other three. So true negative, the person is leaving the bank. So actual prediction is true and negative. That means algorithm says that the person is not leaving the bank. That kind of combination is called TN, true negative. And if the person is not leaving the bank and it says that it's leaving the bank. That is this combination. The other two are also the same. So we use these four combinations and we calculate these four accurate accuracy, recall, precision, and FN score so that we, you know, we the, if we get the highest percentage of this, that is nothing but we have built a very good model which gives 100% prediction so that's our aim correct so this this is all about the mathematics behind logistic regression so you know right uh, in order to build a backend python program to build this model we we have to know what exactly is the logic between behind our uh, code so this is exactly ma the mathematics which is behind our uh, model so if if we know the mathematics we can easily do the coding part. So this is all about logistic regression. Thank you so much.